Good evening, my fellow, don't need this one, seekers of serenity and happiness. Let's lower our stress levels a little further tonight by continuing these pastimes uh, that you can indulge in according to your personality type as defined by the Briggs-Myers test. It's not a bad little test, kind of gives you insights. I mean, I remember doing it a long, 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 long time ago and thinking, oh, this is correct. And it's nice when uh, you get something which actually is a spot on run. They're just guessing and it's it's the cold reading. Sorry, the camera's over here. So, um, yeah, which is, maybe we'll do something on cold reading eventually because it's a source of stress. All right, so we looked yesterday at creative roles and at i presume they were leader roles because the heading got cut off somewhere all right educational so if you're an educator somebody who likes to teach then or enjoys teaching or is very good at it then these are the pastimes for you to consider that you may not have thought of i don't call this a pastime child care uh, unless they're very, very, very good children, <laughs> usually this could be a little bit stressful. But if you are that way inclined, it says it shows that you're a responsible individual. Uh, languages, because you appreciate diversity and have a keenness for culture. Online classes, because you're passionate about learning. You're on YouTube, I mean... I'm sure you know about that one. Uh, reading, you have a thirst for knowledge, a particular uh, passion for subject matter, and you may make a great researcher. Uh, and a researcher is a different personality type. Volunteering, because you wor work well with other people and you're altruistic. So if that rings true, volunteering. I suppose there might be ways, uh, given the, the, the COVID situation, that uh, you could volunteer, maybe online, helping out, or in some other way. Uh, jigsaw puzzles. A bit of a jump there, but jigsaw puzzles. You have excellent problem-solving skills. And if jigsaw puzzles in there, then you can also include things like Rubik cubes and the like. Other kinds of puzzles. And uh, Sudoku and those uh, word squares, crosswords, and then tennis. How this fits in with education, I don't know, but it shows you're determined and passionate. So there you go, tennis for educators. See, the, these things are not always scientific, shall we say, or even makers of sense. You're an engineer. It shows that you're an engineer. I presume that means that you like building stuff because in the old days, engineers were people who they built stuff. The Royal Engineers uh, uh, Department of... Department? I don't know what it is, but a subdivision of the, uh, the, the UK Army that went around building bridges and other things that were necessary to get soldiers from one part of the terrain to another when there was some sort of impediment or so. If you're an engineer, then you're going to like archery, apparently. If you like archery, there's a good chance you also like playing games such as darts, um, clay pigeon shooting, if you are that way inclined. Um, um, those, those things with the hoops, the quoits, um, with the horseshoes, all that kind of stuff. Because you're focused and precise. Backgammon, you enjoy thinking strategically. I think chess is going to make a, uh, an appearance in here too. Basketball, because you're committed and able to multitask. Car restoration and mechanics. Okay, that could be lucrative. You know, I, I know people who've made a, a living out of that. It started off as a side thing and people thought, oh, you can fix my car. You can do a service for me. And before they knew where they were, they were going to people's houses and looking at things and charging a little bit of money.
money. Right, so and if you're stuck in a day job you don't like and you've got a bent for that kind of thing, cooking, because you're creative and an excellent improviser. Landscaping, gardens, you're detail orientated and an excellent planner. Lego building, because you're patient, dexterous, imaginative and a problem solver. And I imagine you enjoyed the Lego movies as well. Especially the Batman one. Batman. Robotics. If you're an engineering type, I'm sure you've thought about robotics. But anyway, because well, this is it. All these have got, because you're this, that and the other. It's almost like they're flattering you, but this one, you're technology driven. Okay, robotics, because you're technology driven. And sky, skydiving, <laughs> what? Okay, if you're an engineer, you're the only kind that will enjoy skydiving because you push boundaries and take risks. Where are we? Uh, that's six minutes. I'm, I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm having fun with this, actually. Right, so, um, yeah, six minutes. Keep it under eight so that we don't have those horrible adverts but I'm not putting if there are adverts in this not my fault I loathe adverts in the middle of you I don't I understand that YouTube have got to make some money at the beginning and at the end but I hate interruptions particularly for a two minute video when there's like I think there's one person doing the law of attraction and she takes 40 minutes of your time 40 minutes who the heck <sighs> Stress, 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 stress. Okay. <laughs> I'll say good night and I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to look at healthcare rules. If you're a kind of a healthcare sort of person, these would be pastimes for you. I'll give you a. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't give you any, any spoilers. Good night. Here's to your reduced stress and your increased happiness. Oh, and of course, the likey, subscribey, thingy, stuffy. All right, good night.